Arsenal begin talks on Darren Rea's camp over personal terms, but Brentford hold a firm uh, over fee. So there's, there's going to be a big fee for this, play, uh, for this player. Um, 40, 40 million is the fee for David Rea, guys. Now, Arsenal have opened talks to Darren Rea's representatives over personal terms, but Brentford are adamant they will not budge for, for um, from their 40 mil valuation, according to reports. Gunnar has been linked with a surprise swoop to bring in the Spanish goalkeeper, with manager McCann's uh, Arteta keen to, uh, to secure high quality uh, cover and competition for Aaron Ramsdale. Uh, Raya, what, who has one year left of his contracts, has been approached by a host of clubs already this summer, the likes of Tottenham and Bayern Munich both making inquiries. But Brentford, who have already signed a replacement in Mark Flecken, are adamant Raya will only leave if their 40 million price tag is met. Uh, a stance which um, prompts Spurs to sign. Vicario for less than half the price instead. Still, Arsenal continues to push ahead with the pursuit of the Spanish international. According to Fabrizio, a 40 hour talks with his camp. Gunners want to get uh, personal terms and a salary agreement in place before ramping up talks with Brentford, and they do not anticipate any issues from Raya's side. Uh, he is keen to move to the Emirates despite the presence of well established number one, Ramsdale. While he would rather stay in London than move to Bayern who do remain interested despite a breakdown in talks with Brentford. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, the Bavarians, who are trying to put a, together a club record deal to sign Harry Kane, um, are only prepared to uh, offer a loan deal for the 27-year-old with no mandatory buyer clause. Uh, this is not currently something Brentford are prepared to consider, though their stance could change later in the window if Raya is prepared to sign an extension before going out on loan. Right now, Arsenal uh, appears to be in a poor position to land the shop stopper that would take an offer in the region of £40 million to convince Brentford to sell with manager Thomas Frank uh, re uh, re re reiterating that position on Sunday. He's worth £40 mil. I'll, I'll get that for him. He's one of... Uh, he was... What, sorry, he was one of the four best keepers in Premier League last season, said the Brentford boss. Also... Frank has actually spoken about this. Uh, what is the price for a player with one year left? Declan Rice went to Arsenal for 105 million. Uh, is that a fair price? And Harry Kane, one year left, talking about 105 million. Anyway, it's not up to me. It's always complicated. Two sides of the coin when it comes to negotiations. We meet somewhere in the middle. Uh, uh, Arsenal actually tried to sign Rice several years ago before turning rounds on instead. The club's goalkeeper coach, uh, Ikan Kana, having worked with the Spanish, uh, the Spaniard at Brentford. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, guys, um, a little bit more in-depth news about uh, David Raya. Uh, now, £40 million is a price tag for the guy at Brentford. They're not going to sell anywhere less for this, uh, for, for course, David Raya. At the end of the day, right? But, um, but yeah, um, yes. They don't have any replacement for him. You'll get a replacement for him? Wait, what, Jordan, what did you say? They don't have any replacement, so you can go oh, to they Arsenal. Ain't got a for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right in that. Yeah, they haven't yet. But yeah, as we were talking about him yesterday, Jordan, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I was look. I was having to think about this, and it still doesn't sit right with me that he's gonna technically come into Arsenal. We're gonna pay forty million. Mm. He's gonna come into Arsenal as number two. It just doesn't. I know. He's, I know he's gonna challenge Ramsdale, but it just doesn't sit right with me that this guy. Uh, should be number two because I think he's he's better than being a number two. And would he, as a player, want to be number two? Now, personal terms at the moment have still not been agreed. That's why Arsenal are in talks trying um, to agree the personal terms with uh, the player um, and also in terms of the price tag with Brentford as well. As we know, the fee is going to be around forty million if we do if we were to go in for the guy, right? And I'll repeat, I'll repeat what I said yesterday, right? Do we? It shouldn't for me. I I don't mind it. I, I think this will be a fantastic signing, by the way. Don't get my words twisted, but I think we can use our forty million elsewhere, guys. You know, and I hope we do because getting a goalkeeper right now is not the main priority, in my opinion. Ramsdale has been very shaky in preseason. Yes, he made his distribution has been a bit poor since he signed a new contract. He's been a bit shaky, right? But I think we give him one more season. To see, what, right? So now you sign a new contract. Let's see how you perform this season. I have the backup as Matt Turner still, and I said yesterday, I still rate Matt Turner, and I will be happy 
if next season our two goalkeepers would be Ramzo and Matt Turner. Okay, but now we're going yeah. in for someone like David Raya, yeah? So it suggests to me that Arteta doesn't want Turner and suggests to me that Arteta doesn't really trust Ramzo enough because yeah. we're going in with someone like yeah. David Raya for 40 million as well, by the way, who, as Thomas Frank rightly said, he may be being biased, he is top five goalkeepers in Premier League, last, especially last season, yeah. And I, 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 I do agree. He's at least in the top five best goalkeeper. Yeah. I'll say, look, I'll say Alice is above him, Jordan. Yeah. Edison's above so Allison, him. Allison, Allison in a Premier League. He was Callier in Cup competition, Scarborough Cup, FA Cup. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But Callier's the only goalkeeper we was at your journey. But, so but Jordan, is, goalkeeper is better than David Raya in the Premier League, yeah? Alison's better yeah. than him. Edison's mm -hmm. better than him. By far. Yeah. Yeah. So there's two. Ramsdale, based off last season, is better than Raya. Obviously, Raya can challenge him. So that's three. Um, anyone else don't really have a debate. So yeah, he's definitely... Oh, yeah. Maybe Emi yeah. Martin is as well. Yeah. Emi Martin is yeah. up there. And also Kotoa for Real Madrid. He's also no, 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 no. But Jordan, just in the Premier League. Just oh, in the Premier League. Oh, Hugo. You, I don't think more Hugo Lloris. Um, no, think, uh, Lloris doesn't go over him, in my opinion. I think he's clear with Lloris. I Lloris. Think he's, um, he's definitely top four best ball keepers in the Premier League, especially based off last season, man. With David Raya. So, end of the day, right, I don't, I don't think getting a goalkeeper should be our main priority. I, I really don't. But the point is that we are going to get this player. And I'm happy with the player, yeah. And I'm very excited that he's going to come to Arsenal because we're going to have two quality goalkeepers now with Aaron Rams out. I think and that um, Fab, Fab is better. Fab is better than him. The West Ham goalkeeper. I think he's better than him as well. Who? Ariola? Ariola and um, Fabaski for West Ham. Those, I think those two is better than him as well. Fair enough. I, for me, I still think he's. He's top four best goalkeepers in, 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 in the Premier League. I think only Allison, Edison, uh, maybe Emmy Martinez, Ramsdale are all better than him. That, that, I think this bad man and then losing David Yeah, bro. Yeah. But for me, Jordan, I think Raya is a very good signing. 40 million is, is a price tag. I think, I think that, that is what he's worth as well. I think mean, that's, that's a reasonable price tag. I think that is what he's worth as well. I think that's a reasonable price tag. For a goalkeeper, and I'm very happy that we are going to sign him to be honest. You know, I, I really am Jordan. So, that David Raya once again going to Arsenal. Arsenal, um, well, it's about the future you now of Matt Turner you now because Brentford, he's the only goalkeeper that Brentford has, and they don't have any backup to replace him in goal. Yeah, um. um I think he is the captain because now I saw him like he have on the captain ban here for Brentford over by his left hand. So it looks like he's the he's the captain for the Bees. But if he goes to Brentford, um, Arsenal, uh, will he be on the bench or will he be starting the Champions League? Well, well, this is what we're trying to figure out, Jordan, because. Does he come in and take Ramsdale's place straight away? I don't think he does. I think he's had to. I think he's had to challenge Ramsdale. Um, and as I said, does Ramsdale deserves to be dropped based off last season? No, he doesn't. In my opinion. Look, you don't, you don't need to drop him here. But there is a possibility that he can come in and take Ramsdale's number one. I think that is one of the main reasons why we've uh, we've signed him is someone to challenge Ramsdale oh, to try and beat him to number one. A bit like yeah. how uh, we had. Literally, how we signed Ramsdale for Leno, remember? Remember when we had Bernardo in goal and Ramsdale yeah. came in? We thought he'd be number two, but mm -hmm. he took uh, Leno's spot and now Ramsdale became number one. I think we can see a similar situation happening here. You know, Leno was actually good for Arsenal, but then towards the end of his, his Arsenal career, he made a few uh, mistakes and looked yeah, like I'm really confident I'm with Leno. Yeah. Ramsdale comes in for 35 million. We all thought, oh, he's going to be number two, takes over Leno. And now look, the rest is history. And, and, and now, is it going to be the same here when Ramsdale towards, you know, made a few mistakes in pre-season? Yeah, um, yeah, it looks like your guys' goalkeeper um, section are getting stronger more than um, the 
outfield, the outfield players them, bro. Mm, that, yeah, they are, they're definitely. I, I think having two quality class goalkeepers is definitely going to help, especially when we're in Champions League as well. You know, especially when we're back in the Champions League, I think we're going to need it to compete in every competition. We're going to need two quality goalkeepers, two goalies, two goalies that we can trust as well. You know, and I think that Darren Rice is is one of them as well. So. Yeah, it's, it's good that we've got two quality goalkeepers, but I think we will, we will end up signing this guy. He could get that number one, yes. Well, do, you think, do you think he'll get number one, Jordan? Well, that be right if, that, if, that, if that would happen, he have a, put in a, in a big challenge to Rams deal. Hmm. Yeah, definitely, man. All right, Jordan, let's move on to the next story. Let me fly through 